Hi everyone, this is Alison, Outdoor Learning Leader for the Parks Trust again, just here to check on those acorns that we asked you to plant this autumn. So if you remember, we asked residents of Milton Keynes to collect and plant acorns from our various ancient woodland sites and take care of them. So you guys blew us out of the water and planted 4,013 acorns. Now that's a fantastic job and that's a lot of acorns. Not to worry about the squirrels not having enough food though, because we think that the oak trees have had what is called a mast year this year. So masts are what we call a tree's fruit or seeds. And in the case of the oak tree, these are the acorns. So certain trees in certain years will spend an awful lot of energy growing their seeds and a little bit of energy growing up big and tall. So when they do this, this ensures that there is not only enough food to go around for all the woodland creatures, but it also makes sure that some of those seeds get planted into the ground and will turn into trees themselves. So that's exactly what has happened this year. So you will have your planted acorns now. Remember you had about four in one pot. You might not see anything in your soil just yet. Um, so here are mine sitting in my garden and I don't have anything that's popped up right now. And that is pretty much what we would expect. You probably won't see any sprouts until about the springtime. Now, if you don't see anything by about June or July, then you might not have had a viable acorn. So that's okay. We would only expect about 70 to 80% of them to be viable anyway, so not to worry. Once they have sprouted, you're going to want to keep an eye on them for about a year. So let them grow in that pot for a year altogether. Then after that time, you're gonna to wanna to separate them out into their own individual pots. Now it's best to repot them when they're dormant. So that's when a, a tree goes into hibernation essentially. So in the autumn or winter time, you can replant them into their own pots for the second year. After that time, you can bring them back to us and we'll start planting them in different locations across Milton Keynes. So remember, we are replacing those dying ash trees. So some of the places we'll be planting, these oak trees will be along the grid roads. We're also gonna be planting many of them in the ancient woodlands and some of them in Middleton as well. So we couldn't have done this without all of your help. There's no way we could have taken care of all of these trees without the residents of Milton Keynes. So thank you very much for putting a lot of time and effort into helping make your community a better place and helping to ensure a good future for our woodlands. Now don't forget to water your soil when it dries out and repot those trees so they don't get overcrowded. Thank you very much and we hope to see you soon. If you have any questions, just get in touch with us. Thanks very much. Goodbye.